If we can start off uh, point up with Wigan, how would you assess it? Oh, look, in the end, happy enough. Um, you know, uh, I thought we had the majority of the run of the game, to be honest. Um, probably missed a couple of opportunities that could, could have turned into um, two competition points for us. But we obviously respect the opposition, respect the team they had out. Understand that the contest was, um, you know, end to end in the second half. and. Either team could have won the game, so it's probably fair as well. Yeah. Martin Rudyard picked up an injury in the game. How's he? He's a bit sore still. You know, uh, it's quite, probably not quite as bad as we first thought. So he's a chance to play him this week, but um, we'll assess him probably later in the week. He won't be training today, and hopefully by Thursday he'll be back on the training park and you know, we can give, a, give him an assessment from there. You've extended his deal to the end of the season. What's the thinking behind that one? Oh, look, you know, with Rids. He was a bit reluctant to come to start with, you know. Um, he was at Lee and he's been a Lee boy the whole time and it was a, a significant step out of his comfort zone. But, um, you know, he was either going back to Lee or possibly going on loan somewhere else and I thought he'd just done enough to deserve uh, the chance to finish off the year with us. Um, he's a good fella to have around, the boys like him, he's got a good work ethic and he's, a, he's, a, he's an intelligent player which can actually um, Probably compliment Bruffy pretty well. Sometimes, you know, Bruffy being such a dominant player, sometimes other boys get a bit intimidated about playing with him. But Martin manages it well and has jumped in and done a pretty good job. So um, hopefully he gets over this little injury and gets, you know, I'm not sure about this week, but, you know, we'll, we'll know a little bit more later in the week. If you're going to have some repair back for this one, anyone else coming back into the reckoning? Yeah, yeah pro probably um, Al Ferguson. I think he had a little bit of a calf strain last week. It wasn't too bad, but it looks like he'll um, he'll take his place as well. So that'd be good. Getting Jordan Rankin back into you know into the fold will be a boost considering Jake Mamo's out and maybe Rids is going to be out. So we're looking for another sort of playmaker at some stage. And um, I think Akuma Ty will definitely benefit from his run last week and be a bit better for it, for it this week. There's been speculation about Akuma maybe leaving. He's out of contract. What's your what's your voice on that one? Oh look, we, we're working through it with Akuma. Well, it's not easy. Obviously, um, you know, he's an integral part of our team. He's an integral part of our culture uh, as well. You know, he, he brings plenty of. Um, positives off the field as he does on the field and he's been in Huddersfield for five years he wants to stay and we're working through with him to try and get to that stage and I guess getting in the top eight will allow you to plan earlier for next season won't it yeah well it will obviously it'd be nice if we get to that stage we, we understand we're still in a decent scrap and we've got four weeks to go and as we've seen this year in the Super League competition, a lot of things can change in, in a short period of time. So we're not taking anything for granted. We understand that it, it's going to be four really, really competitive weeks where you know, all, all the teams will be battling hard. So you know, we're, we're part of that mix and we know that we can control our own destiny if we win some games. That must please you that you've managed to turn it around from being in the bottom four all of a sudden now, you know, if you win three more games, you, you're guaranteed to be in the aim. Yeah, well, that has been a pleasing aspect, you know. It's, it's taken a while, but the boys are buying in really well. The effort's really good at the, at the moment, and um, even though we've had a few bumps and bruises and a few injuries along the way, we've managed to overcome a bit of adversity, which has been pleasing. So our resilience is definitely a lot higher than it was, you know, at the start of the year, for sure. You go to Salford. Uh, they've lost a few in the league, but they're, they're right up there. They, they've surprised a few. How do you rate them as a team? I think it, they have surprised a few. You know, they started off the year really well, and maybe everyone thought they might come back to the field, but they've formed consistently, uh, long, long, you know, for a long period now. You know, we're nearly up to the 20, 20th game or whatever, and they've all performed consistently right through. So it's not a fluke. You know, they're working hard for each other. They've got some good man managers in their team. They've got some good forwards who actually. Um, can get them going forward, they've got enough strike in the, in the back line to score some points. So they're a dangerous team and you know, they've definitely shown how good they are consistently right throughout the year. They beat you narrowly earlier on in the season, but it's a different Giants team they're going to see, isn't it, this weekend? I hope so, man. I hope so. Um, getting more and more confident about how we're turning up. And probably playing a team like Salford away at this stage of our prep is a good challenge for us and we understand it's, it's a decent challenge. And, um, something that we really respect how they're going so it'll give us a gauge a little bit about where we're at I reckon. 
not so long ago this team was regularly in the top four it's felt like watching them play that confidence that they used to have is coming back are you seeing that in and amongst the group now do you feel the belief has, has come back to this club yeah look look it's getting there ever so slightly uh, i think i think the togetherness and, and uh, camaraderie is definitely just starting to show a little bit more like a real tight footy team and that's a difference particularly when you're defending your line of, of making that tackle and not making the tackle and that's probably the, the thing i can see the most you know the camaraderie and how tight the boys are they've been enjoying working together and uh, there's a good spirit around, there's a good buzz and they're energetic and training and they're looking forward to each game. So, you know, we've probably been lucky enough with the draw and, you know, losing in the cup early and the way things have worked out that we're probably as fresh as anyone with our turnarounds right throughout the year. We yeah, look at the Easter period where we went Wednesday to Monday and then we didn't do the double header on the May long weekend either because of um, the town game at Wembley. So, you know, and we've tried to make sure that we, we keep our training session short and sharp and, you know, make sure we get plenty of rest. So we'd like to think that hopefully we're still on the way up at this time of year, which is important. You've brought another new face in, Jordan Rankin is here. Um, do you expect him to play at the weekend? Yeah, I do, absolutely. You know, it's, it's a timely sort of um, um, change for us. You know, obviously, Jake Hammer being out and Martin, Martin Ridio and being a chance to be out. Look, Lee Gaskell could play in a few spots for us. He's played Sally, he's played fullback, he's played 5 8, and he's a real versatile player that adds, adds plenty to, to everything there. But um, yeah, look, Jordan's a, he's been a pro for a long time. He was a, he was a really young debut as, as a 16 year old, and um, you know, he. he his, his games at the Tigers have been pretty consistent. You know, he's, he's done plenty of time all over the place in the back line, really. But fullback and 5'8 are the probably two positions that I think he can, he can sort of manage the best. And um, yeah, hopefully we'll bob up and play one of those spots, considering that's what we need for this weekend. He struggled a little bit when he first joined Hull, but there was a real feeling he was playing his best stuff just as he went back to Australia. How important is it he's been here? He knows what to expect, he knows the competition, he knows the country. I think that's a big advantage for him, absolutely. I think most boys take a little bit of time to find their feet in the Super League and, um, you know, unfortunately, Jordan hasn't got a lot of time to find his feet, you know, in the position we're in and obviously the, the time of the season he's come over. So definitely those two years at Hull are going to help him, the experiences, um, knowing the opposition a little bit more and, and understanding how the game is slightly different here to Australia. But, um, yeah, I think that experience will be invaluable for him in the next couple of weeks.